you. Uh, don't let you know, I'm going to be out of town for a couple of weeks, visiting my son in Phoenix. Oh, I'm glad that you told me. I'm really good to know when you're not going to be there in the apartment building. I'll see you later. Okay. Looking forward to it. Well, hi, Eric. I haven't seen you for a while. I've been in Phoenix for the last couple of weeks visiting my son. Oh, oh. You know, I got the strangest card in the mail. Look at this. Dear Nora, I missed hearing from you on your birthday. Please call me at 801-555-7834 by the 15th to renew your contract. Hope you are well. Aloy. Who's this Aloy and what's this contract he's talking about? Well, I don't know. It sounds vaguely familiar, but I can't put my finger on it. If it has to do with money, I'm sure he'll write you again. Oh, maybe so. Oh, crap. Here's the bill from my doctor's office that I meant to pay. Um, I'm, I'm forgetting everything. I'm getting just like my mother. I, I can't remember a thing from day to day. I wouldn't worry about it. Things will be okay. Uh, things are getting a little crazy here in Cheyenne. All right, let me know if you hear anything. Later. <laughs> Detective Maxwell. Let me get this straight. You're telling me there's been a string of murders similar to this? Women between the ages of 57 and 78 found dead with their necks broke? Wow. Colorado? Nebraska, Wyoming, four in Colorado, five in Nebraska, and two known cases in Wyoming in the past 12 months. Hmm. Let me get back to you. I've got another uh, phone call coming in. Detective Maxwell. Jeez, things are really getting crazy. Sounds like we've got a serious uh, uh, killer on the loose. All right, thanks for the info. I'll let you know if I hear anything else. Bye. Sam, Maxwell, I just got a call from uh, Detective Benson in Missoula, Montana, and uh, they just got a similar case, only this time it's a man that's deceased. Yeah. All right, bye. This means something. This is important. Well, we're going to record an injury. <laughs> we are not going to make that little safety bulletin. Oh. Um. So, we're going to present it. Um, giant position. I'm Detective Maxwell. Yes? You're Nora's sister. Yes, I am. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. I was wondering if you could find the time to come down to the station tomorrow to answer some questions. Well, I'm actually leaving tomorrow. Could we do this now? If you don't mind. No, I 
Don't mind. Do you know of anyone that would want your sister dead? Well, excuse me? Mrs. Anderson, your sister was murdered. You know that. Well, in a way, yes. She arranged for her own death years ago. What? My sister arranged for her own death years ago. She contracted her own murder? Yes, she paid a large sum of money. Every year on her birthday, she would call this phone number. In the year she forgot, that activated the contract. My parents, they suffered for all with Alzheimer's for years. It was just not a fate she wanted to endure. Assisted suicide isn't illegal in this state, so she made arrangements for herself.